Hi, kia ora and welcome to Kids Zone from Bank Libraries. My name is Sarah and today we are going to be making a easy peasy lemon squeezy but simply fabulous jigsaw puzzle out of icy pole sticks and your own creative talents and then we're going to make a ninja maze. Sound good? Let's do it. So for our jigsaw puzzle all you need are some icy pole sticks or ice block sticks as we call them in New Zealand or craft sticks I think uh, they're called in the United States. What do you call these things? Let's, let's stick with icy pole sticks today and what we're going to do is we are going to make a shape out of them. You might like to make a nice straight, straight kind of rectangle or square or any shape you like or you could make it a bit jagged doesn't have to be don't need straight edges it can be however you like what this is going to be is the this is going to be the surface for your picture for your jigsaw puzzle and what we're going to do once you get a shape that you like and you can use as many or as few icy pole sticks as you like but once you have decided how many you would like to use how big you'd like your picture to be you can make put them into the kind of shape that you would like to end up with and now we're going to take some masking tape and a pair of scissors if you are younger please ask an adult to help you with the scissors and what we're going to do is stick them together so that we can then Turn them over and start drawing and they'll stay nice and straight while we create our picture. So you might need a couple of pieces of masking tape. Masking tape's good because it's a little bit sticky but it's not too sticky so it shouldn't be too hard to remove the tape at the end when we don't need it anymore. So but for now, I'm going to use a couple of pieces, one up the top, one down the bottom, then turn over my shape. This is my blank canvas in which I can create a jigsaw puzzle. So the idea is that we're going to draw a picture. We're going to decorate these sticks and what we'll then do after we've finished decorating, is take off the tape at the end. You can then mix them all up and you can challenge yourself or your brothers or sisters or mum or dad or your carers or somebody you live with to put it back together in the right order. Maybe time them, make it a race, see who can do it most quickly or not, up to you. So now we have to just decide what we are going to draw on our sticks. Now I'm not much of an artist, that's okay. I think I might just stick with something nice and simple, like a rainbow. Maybe I'll stick them in my window with my teddy bear afterwards. So let's go. And we can just use textures. You can use anything else in the house, but I think textures work quite well. And all we do is
is my rainbow with sun and clouds and a rainbow and rain and sun because that's what we need to make a rainbow so you can draw whatever you like I've just drawn a rainbow because it's pretty much all I can draw but you might like to do a self-portrait or a portrait of mum or dad or a brother or a sister or someone you love your best friend your favorite book character you could draw um, or you could do a magnificent pattern a magnificent pattern might be really good if you want to make a really tricky jigsaw puzzle but once you're done uh, with your drawing all we need to do now is turn it over and remove the masking tape so I'm going to hold fingers down carefully and rip off the tape on the bin and now we have a jigsaw puzzle so we can go like this give it a good mix up good mix up and now we see how quickly we can put it back together again so this is not just an arts and crafts project this is also really a bit of a stem project because we are developing things like fine motor skills, the way that we're picking up and moving around our very skinny icy pole sticks, and spatial recognition, and matching, all sorts of fun things. Oh my goodness, it doesn't look so easy now, does it? In fact, if I didn't know it was a rainbow, I might, might be wondering whether it was in fact some kind of tropical bird or, hmm. Anyway, let's see if we can put this together. Not quite right, is it? Let's see where... Maybe that one's in the wrong place. Ah! Ta-da! There we go. All done. One icy pole stick jigsaw puzzle. Just like that. Now our next activity this one's one that we better ask mum or dad or your carer or your guardian first before we get going on this one but I thought we might like to get up and get moving a bit and make a ninja maze a ninja a ninja maze so all we need for a ninja maze is some crepe paper a couple of rolls of crepe paper and some masking tape. Now, if you don't have crepe paper, but you really, 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 really want to make a ninja maze, you might be able to ask mum or dad or your carer or your guardian very nicely if you might use some toilet paper. See what they say. So for now, we're going to grab our crepe paper and our masking tape and we're going to go and find a hallway. See you soon. So, we have found ourselves in a hallway with some crepe paper, some masking tape, and some scissors. Right, first things first, it is really, 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 really important that you get permission from your parents or your caregivers before you start creating your super awesome ninja spidey maze because masking tape is pretty good tape but it is sticky tape so
some walls and in some hallways aren't able to have sticky tape on because they might leave marks. So it's very important if you would like to make a spidey maze, make sure you get permission first. And once somebody says yes, then all we have to do is chop off a few little pieces of masking tape. I've done a few here already and I've just stuck them against the wall. And we can put that down there. We can get going. So I think I might start with orange. You take a piece of sticky tape, masking tape, and we're going to stick it, stick one end to the wall. Then I'm going to grab another piece of tape. I'm going to unravel my crepe paper. Maybe. Enjoy. 